Guys, 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 do we have something to talk about today? Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. If you haven't seen already, Clash Royale released a new update today and they're calling it the biggest update of the year, but I personally think it's the biggest update of all time because they are changing pretty much everything. And the date where this update will take place is October 26th, which is in four days, man. Like I at least needed a week to prepare for this, bro. Cause reading some of this, this changes the entire face of Clash Royale. And I don't think we've seen an update to the level of this magnitude or at least for a few years, right? When the champions came in, that was pretty much the only thing that came close to it. And now there are two more champions coming to the game and it just really doesn't seem real because the first one is called Monk for Elixir, a brand new champion that has a unique fighting style and can be unlockable at 6,500 trophies. And they have Phoenix, which is also for Elixir, a new legendary flying unit with melee attacks. And if this egg, is not destroyed in time phoenix will be reborn this just doesn't even sound right this sounds like two gods are being added to clash royale like bro you know when you find a new operator and like let's say rainbow six siege they add one bro these aren't new operators these are legit champions that people have been complaining about for a while and some of the old decks like you could say 2.6 expo old bait decks like the question i have is will these decks even be viable is there a point to using normal cards now because there are so many just i'd say transform cards or cards that are just not traditionally expressed in the clash royale way you could say and if you thought that's all there was oh man are you hella wrong these guys really went out and added a new competitive ranked mode called the path of legends the path of legends replaces the old league system on trophy road and consists of 10 leagues with the hall of fame and the final league containing the absolute best players in the world and there's leagues and level cap when reaching 5,000 trophies you unlock the new path of legends by tapping the icon next to the battle button on the main screen bro i just gotta say for players that are high up such as myself and in the top 10,000, which we will get into later this is just so hype this makes the game more competitive and after winning a battle on the path of legends you will climb up to another step pushing you closer to the next league and after this you have the ultimate champion which is the best of the best in the Ultimate Champion League players are awarded a rating based on the number of wins and losses they accumulate on their journey to the top league starting from Master 2. So I'm guessing it's kind of like an ELO you see in other games or a rank, a number rank that will appear next to your name. And based on your season finish you will receive a win multiplier that will help you progress to where you were before the reset. And here they show a picture of all the win multipliers for what rank and the caps. So as you can see right there. Well here's where a little things get weird listen to this right here the trophy road now stops at 7500 trophies and will not reset at the start of season anymore you will be able to earn trophies visit new arenas and collect one time it rewards that way once reaching the end of trophy road you will not win or lose any more trophies but you will still be able to play in it and i don't know if i'm the only one but this part specifically might be a bit hard to comprehend like if you're stopping at 75 trophies but you never reset can't you just keep winning or something like that can't you just pass it or are a bunch of people just gonna be stuck at 7500 like who knows man that doesn't really make the most sense but we'll see as we go along i'm sure you guys saw this in the corner of your eye too you unlock new champions at different arena levels which go up all the way to 18 and the cane levels which we will get into a second but i personally like this more essentially it just sounds like the champions are easier to unlock and other than classic and grand challenges where you can use them i feel like more people will be able to use these cards on ladder and yep let me get into this bullshit. Cane level rework all the way up to level 50. Your cane level will be separated from your crown tower level and will go up all the way at level 50. It's a new thing they added called tower power. It will still be level 14 and applies to both cane and princess towers, but card levels will remain unchanged. Level 14 is still the max level for cards. Okay, it's not as bad as I initially thought, but the cane tower power, like going up to level 50, like, yeah, my God. But I gotta be honest, I do like that Supercell provides a why do this section. 
and they say the main reason is because we consistently see that matchmaking is a major source of feedback for our players which is not wrong but listen i'm all for making the game better and i do see how matchmaking can be very frustrating sometimes so this should be a good thing overall they also add some daily tasks and a weekly completion bonus which just makes the game more fun and a reason for you to play it more every day so that's a w they also add some new mastery tasks and new magic items which is also good i mean i don't know exactly what the magic items are but only time will tell to see what they can be but i'm sure it's gonna elaborate on the wild cards and books and these guys of course add some balance changes which from the looks of it looks very warranted like the knight needed a bit of a buff goblins may be a bit op with four but we will see i mean goblins haven't really been used and with all these cards i don't personally hate it so we just gotta wait and see for that so guys that is really everything that will be added to clash Royale, all condensed in one update and i think you guys can see how this will change the face of clash Royale and why i think it is the craziest update we have seen and hopefully to bring some players back or give players a bit more incentive to play clash Royale because the game has been all right man like we are pretty high up so i personally will be able to experience a lot of these things it feels like for the lower players not too much changes but just more tasks and stuff for them to do but for pros and people up high in the trophy range there is definitely a lot for you these new cards you are able to unlock which i am so excited for i'm definitely gonna keep playing if not play more but yeah man i hope you guys enjoyed if you are new bro join the discord if you haven't there's pretty much every game in there i don't even need to get in it again until next time peace